It's the Pitt Parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. A woman's place was in the home and in the detective bureau this week in 1952. You are looking at history in the making. The swearing in of the first woman as an Allegheny County detective. This is Mrs. Aldine Large, a mother used to chasing children and ready to chase down criminals. And behind every good woman is a good man. Mr. Large seemed to like the idea of his wife becoming a county sleuth. Perhaps the first thing she should have investigated was this, smoke coming out of the ground. That's a bad sign, a sign of an underground mine fire. The problem was a vein of coal still smoldering after four years. This little man had lived with it and breathed the fumes just about since he was born. Relief is on its way. The U.S. Bureau of Mines agreed to pay the $10,000 to put out the fire. Hearts were on fire this week because of a pretty gal and a new movie. Welcome Week was coming, and with it would come the Pittsburgh premiere of the new movie, I Dream of Jeannie. And here was the genie everyone dreamed of. Well, actually, her name, Eleanor Shano. She went on to make headlines to read them as a news anchor. Eleanor had changed her name to Miss Jeannie this week as a publicity stunt for Welcome Week and the movie premiere. Here's another famous face before it became famous. Recognized Dick Grote? His hometown of Swissvale was recognizing him this week as a superior athlete. 21-year-old Dick had been a basketball star in college, but baseball was in the stars for him and this week in 1952. The Bucks were thinking about signing him. Maybe this tipped the scales in his favor. A big parade with breathless girls, marching bands, and even the key to the borough. It was a baseball card in the making this week in 1952. Saying cheerio on video, Bill Burns for Pitt Parade.